But I mean, if you need relationship advice, feel free to f***ing ask, ask me. It might be bad advice though, maybe. What's my success rate? Okay, well, 0%, but why are you asking me that? I, I said for relationship advice. Why are you asking me for my success rate? That is completely irrelevant to the question. Manta, how do you know what gifts to, to give to a girl? What's it called? What I do? Um, if, if I want to, if I want to, like, give a, uh, give a gift to a girl to raise her affection rating towards me, um, what I'll do is I'll go on Google and I'll look up what her favorite gifts are on, like, a guide. You know, it could be Game Facts, it could be an IGN guide. I would avoid IGN, though, because usually they're kind of faulty. Um, but, like, just look up any, like, uh, Game Facts guide on, like, you know, that, that character's favorite gifts. Um, make sure to buy as many of them as possible and then just give them to her every now and then, like, mid-conversation. Then be like, here, you know, I got you this, I got you your favorite tea. And then she'll be telling you, like, you know, story about her, her parents or, like, you know, her life. Here's, give her another bag of tea, whatever her favorite item is. So, you know. And then once the day, and then once the daily limit is exceeded, um, you stop. And then you wait until tomorrow to make sure you maximize. You want to, like, min-max, you know, your affection points. How would you spice up a long-term relationship? Ten plus years? Mm. Choking, slapping, uh, spitting, that kind of stuff. Consensual, consensual choking and spitting and slapping. And then boom. So yeah, that's that's that. I would I would say that, that that's a good way to spice things up. And then if you want to really, really, really spice things up, slap, spit, and um, uh, slap, spit, and choke, but make sure your hands are filled with like different seasonings and spices, you know? That'll really spice some shit up, you know? You know what I'm saying? Talking about a human or like chicken? Yeah. Why are you teaching how to prepare Xmas dinner? I don't understand what you're talking about. You ask me a question, I answer. Slap the cake, okay? Oh, wait, shit. Not like, not like, not like cake is in like ass. I'm, I mean like, oh shit, okay. Um, don't worry about it, okay? All right, that was just my suggestion. You don't have to do that. How do I stop flirting with my friends like I love them to death? Don't, don't stop. Keep flirting with them. Keep them guessing. Should I propose to my BF of two years? Uh, no. I don't actually have a reason, just don't. Thoughts on those unrealistic romance anime? I don't know why you said unrealistic. I feel like they're all pretty realistic. How do you meet people? If you want to meet somebody, like, of substance, I would suggest, um, uh, spending, spending lots of time at nightclubs. Uh, any place where there's, uh, you know, intoxication, uh, of any kind, be it via alcohol or some other, you know, types of things, uh, I would, uh, places like that, you know, really unsafe areas, unsafe parties, uh, just any place where you could like describe it as like a bad environment. Um, what is it? That's how you know you're going to find the best person. Cause have you ever heard of the concept of a diamond in the rough? Well, if you're in a rough area and you find someone really great, that means they're probably a diamond. So, you know, it's good to be in a very unsafe not good area. You want to be in a bad environment when looking for your significant other. How much should an engagement ring be? Um, anywhere from 35 to, f mm, no, anywhere from five to 20 cents. Personally, I think 20 cents is a bit much, but if you want to like really go all out and get like a ring pop, you know, that's between you and God. I'm not going to judge you for you know, doing something like that. I feel like that's a bit over the top, but if you really love them, you really love them. Love is love, you know what I'm saying? And if you think they deserve that, then they f***ing deserve that. Should I let my, my SO eat my food? Uh, that's a that's a tough question. If, if they say that they're not hungry, then that means they're not hungry for their own food. They're still gonna eat off your plate. So what you do is, is you go, hey, are you hungry? And then they're gonna go, no, I'm not. So then what you do is you go, okay, well, I am. And then when they see your food and they try to reach for a bite of it, you slap their hand. You can slap their hand as hard as you can. You slam that shit. It's dead. If it's not red and uh, bulging by the, by the end of your slap, you didn't slap, them, you didn't slap, you didn't slap their hand hard enough. And then you go, no, you said you weren't hungry. And then you just keep eating. After taking your advice, uh, that you just started giving out a few minutes ago, I actually landed myself a BF. Wow, thanks, Kroshi. Hey. Hey. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm saying. I'm saying. What do I do with my addiction to Animal Crossing? If you have a significant other, and they're- they're troubled by your addiction to Animal Crossing, honestly, just block them. Thoughts on the orange peel theory? Personally, I think it's garbage. I don't even like oranges, so, like, 
I wouldn't want anybody to peel my orange my peel my oranges for me. I think they're oh. gross. What? It's not really about oranges, but more about like it's like a metaphor for doing the small things for someone because you love them. Okay, that makes more sense. Um, so it's just the orange peel theory. Well, if the theory is named after orange pills, then I still think it's stupid because I hate oranges. So yeah, I think it's dumb. But what if they like oranges? That's a mistake. You just simply, you simply don't date them. If they like oranges, then that means that there's something inherently wrong. Avoid them like the plague. How do I make my uh, significant other stop living like he's in r slash male living spaces? You gotta take him to Ikea uh, and then just redo everything. But don't overdo it too much, you know? Just, just be subtle with it. Every now and then, just be like, hey, how do you feel about this nightstand? And then he's gonna go, oh yeah, that's nice. He's not even, he's probably not even gonna know. He's probably not even gonna look. He's probably not even gonna oh. look. He's not even gonna know what the oh. fuck you're talking about. How do you feel about this nightstand? And he's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's nice. And then just move it in, put it in his room. And then just be like, hey, how do you feel about this bed frame? And he's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's nice. And then you have a, he has a fucking bed frame. Now he has a bed frame and a nightstand. And then you go, oh my gosh, how do you feel about this TV stand? And he's gonna be like, oh, okay, sure. That's nice. He's not even gonna look. And then be like, hey, uh, hey babe, how do you feel about this couch? And then he's gonna be like, he's gonna be like, uh, yeah, that's nice. And then just get it, just get it. And then boom. And then next thing you know, after, after a couple of questions and he's not paying attention, boom. No longer r slash male living spaces. Kroshi, how do I get someone that's actually interested in me? Give up. How can I see red flags? I'm colorblind. Just go forward anyways, it doesn't matter. You know what they say, whenever you see enemies, that means that you're going in the right direction. So if you see red flags, that means that they're probably the one for you. Stick stick with that relationship. Do you guys want this as, an, as like potentially as an actual stream? Where you guys like submit your relationship questions and I answer them all like, you know, terribly or as best as I can, <clears throat> I, you know? <laughs> would you guys want? Would you guys want one of one of those? All right then. No more relationship advice. Save your questions for a future stream. I think that'll actually be really fun. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way. <laughs> Ping pong. Ping pong.